The contributions of volunteers are the lifeblood of many local organizations that work to give back and support our community. Those volunteers had an opportunity to be recognized for their work at the 29th Annual Volunteer Day Celebration. Held at the Attleboro Elks Lodge, nearly 300 volunteers from local organizations were treated to a lunch, in addition, an acknowledgement from Mayor Kevin Dumas. Sturdy Memorial Hospital planned the event, and we spoke with Sturdy Representative Ann Messier to learn more about the ceremony. This is a, it's a very exciting day. It's a very exciting day for me to be able to have um, planned this event to honor all the volunteers that do so many good works in all our communities of the greater Alabama area. It's our 29th year and we look forward to it every year because, you know, what would it be like living in a community without volunteers? I mean, we wouldn't have Little League because the coaches are mostly volunteers. Um, we wouldn't have volunteers visiting the sick in nursing, nursing homes and at the hospital. Who would be in the food pantries and help out at the library? And who would help those coming into our community that cannot speak the English language? I mean, I could go on and on. It'd be an awful world without volunteers. New Hope Inc. Nine Lives of Norton Feline Rescue Shelter Incorporated. <laughs> North Attleboro Council on Aging. It's very important to set aside one day a year to at least say thank you. They're not looking to be paid. They're just looking to know that they've made a difference in somebody's life. And all it takes is a thank you. And you do get that warm, fuzzy feeling when people say thank you. And you know that you have touched somebody else's life and made a difference for them. Crunch, crunch, crunch. I walked up the walkway of my neighbor's house, my feet sinking into the snow that almost went up to my knees. With a shovel in one hand, I knocked on the door. My lovely neighbors, who were in their 60s, opened the door. Would you like me to shovel your driveway for you, I asked. The lady replied, yes, how much should I pay you? Nothing, I answered. A smile came across her face. I could tell she was glad that I would be doing it for free. Well, the, we started the essay contest. Uh, it hasn't been as long as the day, not 29 years. Off the top of my head, I can't remember exactly how many years we've been doing it, but quite a few. But it, it was a way to involve students, and it was a way for them to learn about civic engagement, about community service, about volunteerism, and about helping others in need. And it's very interesting to see when the students share personal experiences. Like we heard today, it changes their lives. And hopefully, it's changed their lives for the better, and they will continue as they, for however long they live on this earth, will continue to be a volunteer.